Hey guys, it's John, and today we're playing Faith, a free horror game found on Itch.io. Link is in the description. It's about an exorcism performed by an exorcist with blue hair. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. He's a robot exorcist, apparently. I have to finish what I started. What? What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Got a fastback on your muscle car there, robot priest. Neato. Uh, so, wait. He says he's got to finish what he started. Did you start an exorcism and not finish it? I, yeah. I don't think you'd be approved to go back. How do I play this thing? Okay. So this is how you walk. With the arrow keys. And we gotta prove it. By picking up these shiny red apples on the ground. Thank you. Okay, so I guess he doesn't have blue hair. I guess that's his, uh, uniform. Face demons and cast them out with the space key or A button. Oh. Big on demon. Oh, cool, he's got a little cross there. That sounded like crosshair, but it's not. Oh wow, that's it. That okay, let's go in. So I've heard this game is good. I like that music. I've heard this game is good. Um, it was on IGN's list of top horror games of 2017. You wanna know what else was on there? Soma which I'm pretty sure was released in 2015. So I'm not saying that the list was any good, but I've been meaning to check it out for a long time before I saw that. I was just like, all right. What the hell? What just happened? What was that thing? What was it saying to me? Be gone, foul demon. Wow, I feel like I'm playing like an old Sierra game. This is crazy. There's a well right here. Oh! What the hell? You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road. Snake Meadow Hill Road. One of those things doesn't belong. <laughs> Meadow, hill, ha happy things. Snake, go straight past the well. Okay, so we're, we're going the correct way. Oh, I don't like this. We gotta stay in the center. That thing could come after us again. Worship? What? Is it saying worship me? I think I can... That's really weird. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. Guys, we found it. I think this is it. It's what now? You mean I gotta go back out there into the forest with those things and find a key? Okay, apparently these things are possessed. That's like that was like a gravestone. Mr. Martin it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've seen the gravestone rubbings, or I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson. What the? I don't like that thing. Is this thing possessed too? Are you possessed? Okay, I guess we'll keep going to the left. 
There's a deer over here. Um, actually, that's a caribou. Is it possessed? Okay, it ran away from me, so I'm guessing not. There's another one over here. Ah! Big on, foul demon! Dude, we saved your life! We saved that deer's life! It was about to get destroyed by that thing. Um... So I don't know if there's anything over here. Where would the key be? Okay, I don't think I'm getting anywhere. What is this? It was a possessed pile of bones. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Oh, they're homeschooled. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem, because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. That sounds rough. Do you say, I go on willingly? Really hard to say what the heck it said. I haven't found anything so far. Yeah, that was... Father? I don't like that. I wouldn't like that. We gotta stay in the center of the screen. This is kind of creepy. <gasps> it killed the deer! I didn't think it was gonna do that! Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and company, accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Why did that thing drop off my mail there? Excuse you. Dude. Oh. So we gotta find a key, right? But like, where the hell is it? What is this? The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It's the next great American novel here, guys. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside, so Amy is who we're exorcising. Right? He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. Right. So what's this? <gasps> Do you see it outside? Well, I found the key. Oh! <laughs> no! Alright. We got the key to the house. 
I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you're if You know, I'm getting flashbacks to the 1982 King's Quest game. It, was, it, it played a lot like this, except it was a fantasy setting. But like, you would walk around like this as King Graham, and from screen to screen, there would just be like these wolves that would sprint. They would sprint onto the screen. But the thing was, you couldn't just hold up a cross like this. It was a text adventure, so you had to type in what you wanted your character to do. So stressful. I remember as a kid, I was terrified of it. It was like my biggest jump scare every time it happened. That's what this reminds me of. Or like King's Quest 4 with the ogres. What was that? Sorry, everything goes back to King's Quest with me. Let's go inside. I like this a lot. I know there's gonna be some whiners in the comments saying it looks terrible. P.U. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. So are there, are there possessed things in here that we need to exercise? <gasps> what? So there they are, Amy and her loving parents. She's purple. So we saw her earlier in the, in the window. There was a purple thing in the window. This is a beautiful rug. Really ties the room together. I hate reference humor. I hate myself for doing that. I just referenced the Big Lebowski. Get it? It's a joke now. It's completely silent in here. What is that? There's something, there's something with me. There's like a shadow. Ooh. Nothing to exercise though. Hey, do you guys think that exorcists are out of shape? I mean, they exercise all the time. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. I gave up a career to do this. <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing haunted in here. Okay, wait, this looks. It seems like things that are colored. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Should we go down to the basement? Uh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think everything in here might be haunted. Oh, what? Haunted laundry. Oh, that's water. Guys. Oh, what? Nothing in here is haunted, really? Not a haunted sewing machine? Oh, everything down here is safe. Funnily enough, everything in the basement, harmless. Who, uh, yeah, like I said, <laughs> everything in the basement is harmless. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical. She was really funny. And the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, mother, mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back 
unconscious with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. That sounds horrible. That sounds absolutely terrible. So, uh... Oh, this is, uh... What do you mean she is here? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. She is here, huh? Where, where are we? What the heck? Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because she he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Amisha about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that comment. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead, or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Wow, what a note that was. That's a heavy ass note. It's a rubber ducky. She can't see me. What? You failed me? I'm sorry, did you guys... Why were there four of her? Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Ooh hoo hoo! There's an exercise bike. They like exercising too. Oh. Whoa. That's right, leave. Mommy. Get away. I got her again. Do I just have to exercise her in every room? Oh, so only one of them is the real her when she flashes up like that. Oh, let me guess. You want to go open it? Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, door open upstairs. Let's go through it. Sure. Is this the door up here? The door that opened? Oh, this is going to the attic. Perfect! That thing has a face! Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with... When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents. With their own. <laughs> I have to go back to that house. The nightmare I'm having... Are, the nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, I know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. I, I, oh, th yo, this isn't, this doesn't need to be exercised, guys. The mannequin with the bloody face on it doesn't need an exorcism. No, it's fine. Just, just leave it as it is. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. My God, what happened to you? 
Do you think my face is pretty? What? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Get her! What is that? Oh, the cross doesn't- the cross doesn't work on them. Oh, I can't let him get me. Okay. Why don't you do your own dirty work, huh? Okay, hang on. Got your flunky after me. Oh, there's two of them. Oh no, there's two. I got her. Say what? Ah. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Is she trying to hit me there? I don't think- Oh! I don't think she did that before! Oh, she is trying to hit me. Okay, I wasn't sure what was happening. I wasn't sure what was happening there. How far back am I- How far back are you taking me? You're not taking me that far back, are you? Oh, good. Okay. Ugh, okay. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta like, hold it. And then she comes from the other side. I understand. And then we gotta move. Whoa. Okay, we're doing damage. We're doing damage. <laughs> this is a battle. This is a battle for sure. How much more damage? How much more can she take? Huh. Feel like we're doing some- we're doing some good work here. That's enough. Yes! What? Whoa! Whoa! What? <laughs> what even happened? I guess I got caught in the pentagram. Man, she's got an arm coming out of her face. I guess she needed a hand in defeating me. What? What? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stay- it's like if you stay near the window. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, if I stay near the window, I'm good. Okay, we did- we did some good shit there. Got her. I think. Huh? Huh? 
She jumped out the window. Yeah, I'm not convinced this guy's not going to do anything. It'd be interesting if, like, he moved while we left, but... So wait, what? so what do we do? I'm sorry, what? Kill her, it says backwards. Is that a gun? A gun with one bullet. Oh. Oh. Uh. Wait. Does it respawn? It does. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. A gun with one bullet. No, I get it. Okay, so. So now what? <gasps> Oh. Um. Are you okay? Was it just a flesh wound or? No, I, I, I killed her. Good. Oh, he just automatically leaves. Excuse me? Ending one of five murderer. So you're not supposed to kill her. Ending one of five police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after state trooper reportedly uh, reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward repeatedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust. After Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. That's an interesting interpretation. Okay. I'm gonna... A gun with one bullet. Shut up. Okay, so... Let's see what happens... If we don't kill her. I got him! <laughs> what? I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What else? I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Ending five of five when faith endures. That's one. That one's in yellow. That seems like it's the best ending. Ah. Huh. Police animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Uh, Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts. 
from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that they were the remains the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, says Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached uh, to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Um, okay. So that was... So we've got two of the five endings. Like, what else can you get, though? Um... Uh... Um... <laughs> Am I gonna get pulled over anyway? Like, is it gonna say poacher instead of murderer now? Uh... I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. Not getting pulled my over this time. In him I, will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Ending four of five, the hunter. See that text is in red. That's a bad ending. That's a joke ending. It's what that is. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At six o'clock a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Middle Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Nope. Deer. Police also noticed that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From the white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. What? That's kind of weird implications there. Well, what else can we shoot? So you can shoot this thing. You can shoot the carcass. By the way, that's a, that's a pentagram around it, I think, with the rocks. Am I wrong? I don't know. We'll see what we get now. Seems like it completely depends on what you shoot. So let's check it out. What? Ending three of five, the offering. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you're able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team. Even if your mom and dad do not, we hope to see you there. Gary. Huh. And that was all in red, of course. So we just got one ending left to get, and I bet I know what it is. We go gunless. We just go straight to the car. We don't shoot anything. All right, here it goes. I have a body of a pig. 
What? How come the cross stops working? How come it didn't run away from the cross? Um... Hello. Okay, I think we found our fifth ending. I didn't think to check out by the shack. What? Who was that? Can I please get in my car? I can. Alright, here it is. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. No consequences my for killing a person? I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Cool. Ending two of five, father and son. There's no newspaper article about that one. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy of such a at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Alright, guys. That was, um... That was Faith. I got... All five of the endings, so I think I'm gonna cut it there because I don't think there's anything more to play. But uh, yeah, it was a cool free little horror game. I enjoyed it. Um, there's not that many exorcism games out there. Um, disproportionate to the amount of exorcism films that have been made. Uh, I think I've only played a handful, but this one was good. And um, minimalist graphics. I like the music though and the sound overall. It was very well done. Um... Just a cool little free game. I enjoyed it. And uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say other than that. I think it was a little more action focused than I would have liked. But that kind of comes with the territory. I mean, exorcism movies are like, it's a battle the whole time between the priest and the demon. So it makes sense that it would have the same uh, kind of tone here. Uh, with that said, you know, that's perfect pretty much the only complaint i have so pretty good stuff and definitely great for a free game so check it out download link is in the description and uh i will check out whatever this developer comes up with next i'll see you guys later think critically